Hi, my name is Don Gardner. I run Gardner Automotive Communications. We're an automotive PR firm, but on the weekend, we do a lot of club racing, and we club race with NASA. That's the National Auto Sport Association. What it means is probably starting out with a car that costs somewhere in the neighborhood of two dollars to $5,000, let's say. It's just that the parts and the consumables that you're going to burn up aren't, aren't going to cost you as much. So that's one element of racing on the cheap. You also want to look into uh, you know, what an engine parts cost. You also want to buy a car that maybe some other people have, because that way you can buy used parts uh, if, if it's not mandatory to buy something new. The NX2000, which is the car that I purchased, we found one in LA. They didn't make very many NX2000s. And uh, I was able to convince the guy to sell it for $1,700. You know, which got us in the door and it was important because things started failing very, very quickly. Uh, every track's a little bit different, but um, for an entire weekend where you have two race days, and they're separate, they're not combined, it's like two separate races or two separate events. It's about $250 for both days or approximately $125 for one, which is as cheap as it's going to get. And uh, if you're an HPDE driver, you're going to get about 80 or 90 minutes of track time, so it's, it's pretty generous. NASA takes very, very seriously any incidents that happen on track that potentially could result in somebody getting hurt. And they want to discuss after each session any strange things that happen, any mechanical problems, any spins. And each person has to own up and explain what happened, why it happened. They want to hear that, you know, you were overdriving the car and you made a mistake and this is what happened. And they want to understand that you know what happened how to prevent it, and if you don't, they want to tell you, and they want to help you. You know, number one, it's obviously driven by the fact that I want to do it, I enjoy it. Cars are a big part of my life. Performance and competing is something I've always been interested in. I'm not like a, you know, a restoration kind of guy, or a drag racer kind of guy, or a show car, or an audiophile. I like music, but racing, you know, that's what I'd rather be doing. I mean, we went off in the last session, a straight line because we over, you know, late braked and overcooked the brakes and locked them up. And it wasn't that bad, but you know, anytime I go off, I like to make sure that we are giving the tires a check. And what we're going to be checking for is little rocks in the bead. That's the area between the rim and the tire itself on both sides. And we're going to wet it down with water and see if we have any air leaks. And uh, it's also a good chance for us to check out the suspension and everything underneath. Just make sure that everything's okay before we go out. The last race we were out here, we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of problems. The main problem was that we had torn a boot on a passenger side axle, and we weren't able to rebuild it, and uh, a guy by the name of Matt Haas that runs an SER Cup gave us an axle. He just gave it to us and said, get it back when you can. He lives in Santa Barbara, we tried to get it back earlier, but he said, you know, just return it at this race. You're with a group of people that understand what it's like, and how much blood, sweat, and tears, and late nights in the garage go into this kind of thing and you're not gonna leave anybody hanging if you can help out. And that's the bottom line. You come out to a NAS event, you're gonna learn all sorts of great things. It's gonna make you a better driver on the street. Um, you're gonna have a lot of fun, and you're gonna be around a lot of people that just get it and are gonna be there to help you out. And that's the bottom line.